Yo, what is up guys, The Casey's here, and today we're gonna be making the Fortnite GIF app on our iPhone using Swift. If you haven't watched the Android video, go check that out, I made that last week. But this week, we're making the app in iOS. So basically, you click on the buttons and it changes the GIF to a different Fortnite dance. It's pretty simple, but you learn some of the basics of iOS development. If you're just learning or want to make a cool app to show your friends, this is the perfect video for you. So let's head over to Xcode, file new project, or I think it's shift command N as well. Uh, single view app, we're gonna call this Fortnite GIF. I'm gonna name mine Fortnite GIF 2. Um, team, select whatever team you want. Language is gonna be Swift, and we don't need any of those for this app. Finish, just create it wherever you would like. So first thing, let's just head over to our main storyboard and get the design um, working for us. We're gonna want to pull in a image view, perfect. And we're gonna want to pull in a button. UI button. First things first, on this button, we're going to set the text to like whatever Fortnite uh, dance that button will present or whatever GIF that button will present. So this is going to be the floss, okay? And on here, we're going to set a tag. This one's gonna be zero because it's the first button, uh, but let's click on that in Command D to duplicate it. And on this one, we're gonna set the tag to two, or I mean to one, and this one is going to be the slow clap. Click enter, that goes there. And the same thing, duplicate. And you can do that twice. So we have four buttons. You guys can create more buttons if you'd like to do more dances. This can be the Disco Inferno. Which is gonna be a two on the tag. And then Pure salt will be our last one. And that's gonna have a tag of three. Okay, so with these buttons, let's click the top two buttons and throw those two into a stack view. Boom. And the bottom two as well, we're gonna throw those into a stack view. And then we're going to go over here and select both stack views and throw the stack views in a stack view. So this kind of creates a little, nice little grid for us. Um, we're gonna pin this 20 from the bottom and let's give it some, well, we can just pin it, yeah. Zero from the sides. And then if we wanna change that later, we can. We can also set a height on this. Uh, let's round that up to seven, or uh, yeah, 70. Perfect. Um, so I'm inside of the stack view our uh, horizontal stack views, we might wanna change the spacing, distribution, fill equally. One, fill, center. Oh, alignment here should be center. On our top stack view, we want to um, align it with center and distribution also should be fill equally. Um, spacing, I guess we do want a spacing in there. Let's add a um, spacing of 20 on this one. And then on the bottom stack view, this should be fill. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we want the alignment to be fill on the top stack view. And then on these as well, we will have center and fill equally on both of them. Center and fill equally. So we get that nice little grid layout there. And then on our image view, we're gonna pin this zero, 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 and then 20, like so. And anytime we click on these buttons, then we're gonna be calling a IB action to perform some code. But before we get into that, let's go and install um, our image library. I am using, um, or I'm going to be using Swift GIF. You can head over to their GitHub page. I'll provide the link in the description below. Uh, you can start it if you like it, um, but it's just an extension for the UI image so we can load a GIF in pretty easily, like so. 
Also, what you want to do is head over to your favorite uh, GIF website and download the GIFs that um, you want to use. What I did, I just headed over to Jiffy, found the GIF I like, and then I dragged this image onto my desktop. That's how I got the image. And you're gonna to wanna to do that for all four of the GIFs that you are using. Um, but to get the Swift GIF into our app, we're going to need to um, use CocoaPods, or at least that's what I'm going to use. And if you guys don't have CocoaPods, head over to CocoaPods website. I think I might have a video on how to install CocoaPods. Uh, but if you have any questions on that, leave a comment below so I can help you out with that. But otherwise, let's head to our terminal and go into our um, project. So I've, I've CD'd to our desktop and I'm CD'ing into the location of my project folder. So my project folder is on my desktop and it's called Fortnite GIF 2. So I'm gonna go into that project, Fortnite GIF 2, and I'm gonna say pod in it. It's gonna create a pod file inside my folder, and I'm gonna open up the pod file. And the website gives us a little, gives us this thing right here. We're gonna to to copy that. I'm not gonna copy the version. I'm just copying the front part. And you're gonna to want to go to the text, space, space, paste. Make sure and save that. And now head back to our terminal, and we're gonna say pod in all. It does stuff, it does stuff. Um, exit out of the pod file, you can quit whatever text editor you were using. Exit out of your Xcode project, okay? And head back into the project folder and you'll see this white application. We're gonna use that now, because it has our pods in it. And we're going to go to our view controller, okay? So we are creating an IB action. I've pre-made this just to save time on the video, uh, but an IB action called button pressed and we're passing in a UI button. On that UI button, we're gonna be pulling the tag that we already set in the, um, the main.storyboard on each of those buttons. And then based off of that tag, we'll be loading a different uh, GIF. So let's also create the load function. Uh, let's pull in our, uh, image or image view sorry great and then we can create the load function there okay, let's import this library swift gif origin and that will fix this error hopefully Great, so on our image view, we're just gonna load the new GIF each time uh, we click on a button. But also, you're gonna want to pull in those GIFs that you downloaded onto your computer. Um, so let's create a new, new group, which is like a folder. You can pull those into this folder. So I have four right here on my desktop, pulling them into the file, copy items if needed, create folder reference, yes, finish. And we're gonna want to name these the same as uh, what we have in our view controller. So slow clap will need to be the exact name of the GIF. Perfect, and once you have those, just double check the names to make sure that they're exactly the same as what you have here in the string. Those look right to me. If not, then uh, it just won't work. So now that we have all of those things, um, let's run the app and it should work. Oh, actually no, sorry. It's not gonna work. We've created our image view and we've created our uh, button pressed function, but we need to link these up in our uh, main.storyboard so that the function and the image view are actually linked up. So let's go right click on the view controller icon and click on the little plus next to image view, drag that to the image view. It's linked up and then button pressed to each of the buttons and then touch up inside. Perfect, so all of our buttons and our image view is linked up. You can also tell that's right here, a little bubble is filled. So let's run that and uh, now our app should work. So click the floss, the floss image loads. You click the slow clap, pure salt, and the disco inferno. 
the, the GIF is loading. Uh, let's head back over to our main storyboard and um, let's change this to aspect fit um, on the GIF for our uh, content mode and hopefully that will fix the stretching of the GIF. Perfect. That looks a lot better. Just loading. So this is a really fun app to just like show your friends or whatever. Um, a cool thing you can do to make it look even better is in uh, the view did load, you can actually preload a uh, GIF here. Nope. Load. Loss. So now when you open the app, it will immediately have a GIF loaded up. Uh, just like so. So when the app loads, it immediately throws up the GIF now. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it to the end and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, leave that in the comment section below. I answer all of those. Please sub to the channel if you like the video and like content like this. There will be much more coming here soon. Um, thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. You are the best. See you guys in the next video. Peace.